I guess she's too busy. Let's go to Twilight. Seems like there's. I wonder what she, what she does at parties. You decide to find Twilight. After all, you you didn't have much of a chance to get to know her during your brief first meeting, and you find her of all places by one of the many bookshelves that line the wall. Rather than dance, play games, or do many of the other fun things offered at the party, she seems to have chosen to spend her time scolding children. What? So please, girls, be careful with that punch. But a lot of these books are one of a kind and can't be replaced. Oh, yeah. Okay, Twilight. We got it. Whatever. <laughs> Shouldn't you lighten up? Our party should, is supposed to be full of fun and laughter. Don't they deserve... Do they deserve a lecture that much? Huh? Well, I... Whoever he is, he's right. Come on, Crusaders. Is let's let's go find something fun to do. I can be fun too. It's just that I'm the librarian here, and I have to look up after all the books. I'm just kidding. I know, I know. I was just trying to break the tension. Oh right. I, I need to learn how to take a joke. Charlie looks at you for a moment and chuckles warily, as if you told some kind of inside joke. Then she he looks at the ground while shaking her head. Thanks, but I worry about a lot of things anyway. He, my friends are always telling me I need to loosen up. It's just that I'm Princess Celestia's personal apprentice. I need to it'd be the best that I can be to live up to that honor. It was hard enough when and it was just my studies, but ever since I moved to Ponyville, I had all sorts of crazy adventures. And now I'm in charge of the festival and Luna. It's hard to keep up. Ooh. I'm sorry, I must be boring you with all of this. No, not at all. But with all this talk of who you are and who you started to be, it makes me wonder who I am. Do I have any dreams? Like that? You'll find out soon, I'm sure. And all your new friends and you here today, including me, will do whatever we can to help. Hey, you two, who get out of the corner and get on the dance floor? It's time to it's time for a pony train. Speaking of, shall we, Miss Sparkle? Let's, and please, call me Twilight. The music is upbeat and it has its own unique flavor, much much like the guests at the party. Strangely enough, you find that uh, you have no trouble moving to the beat. Hey, pretty soon, you're in a full-on party mode, so meshing with the odd group you know, as if you've known them for years. Twilight, too, seems to have left her worries behind her. She laughs and shows off some moves of her own. The power of friendship must really be something to take it, make a lone stranger with a serious student and and turn them into party ponies. Is when the time comes for the pony train, you hang on to Twilight almost instinctively. Woo! -hoo! It seems at some point, and you've gotten comfortable around the, this discipline you requirement. Who knows? You may find yourself of reaching for Twilight in the near future. Yeah! <laughs> Why not? I'll take it. A pony as responsible and caring as she may just be what you need in uncertain times that lie ahead. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Go to Rainbow Dash. Alright. Come on, guys! There's no one on wants to face me? Not really. We all know you're stronger than us. There's no point in embarrassing ourselves. What are you? A bunch of fillies? These, no one here wants to try and beat that's me? Oh, wait! Hey there, Jun! Maybe you want to face me. Of course! Sounds like fun! And you think you can beat me? You don't even know what it is yet, Ed, but I like your attitude. It's a simple game of hoof wrestling. Push over to the table, uh, table loses. I'm the grand champion right now. Didn't Applejack beat you? That was one time. And Rumor Dash seems to take these co uh, competitions pretty seriously. However, you see no harm in having a little fun. It is a party. All right, I'll play it. I'll play it around. You and Rumor Dash stand across from each other, pacing. Like, Placing your right hoof on a small table, Twilight sits up for the party, interlocking them. And you two seem to have, have gathered a small crowd. Some of them are cheering on Rainbow Dash. The others are cheering on you. Go, new guy! I have a name! You ready, Dragoon? Three, two, one! You didn't know exactly how strong Rainbow Dash is, and more importantly, you can't even remember how strong you are. You need a plan. 
Let her win. <laughs> you don't want to embarrass her by beating her in front of this crowd. Um, you're just losing. You're just losing it in another way. Go! You fight for a little bit, making a, making a believable spectacle of the crowd cheering you on. Uh, but as the sign of easiness comes over in Vanessa's face, you know it's time to take a dive. You let your guard down, and she throws your hoof onto the table. The crowd groans. As Rainbow Dash is, has now beaten every pony at the party who stands a chance and against her. And, and they know she's still a champion. The crowd quickly subsides, and as it, it does, you see Rainbow Dash's face of victory turn into a face of disappointment. Aww. Oh, that was a good match. I almost had you. I've been facing against ponies... He's long enough who know oh, when they're holding back to her. Oh, She knew. Looks like she's all through your disguise. You have to think of something quick. Apologize. I'm sorry. Yeah, I let you in. I just didn't want uh, you to ruin... I didn't want to ruin your run with these ponies. I had to lose is for real than win unfairly. Just don't do it again. Oh, dear. Well, I got Twilight. I gotta go talk to Ashman or something. I'll see you later. And with that, she she walks away. You can't help but feel that you hurt her pride. You have to make it up to her sometime. You head over to the nearest um, snack table to grab some famous Pinky Punch. Now that you have a moment to yourself, you can take a good look around on the dance floor. Many ponies are looking a bit tired. Most are just standing around and drinking punch rather than dancing like Pinkie Pie. Looks like the party is winding down. Hey, Drew, why are you standing there all alone? Oh, you look like you're having an inner monologue. <laughs> well, don't tell me you're all partied out. I'm not deliberating yet. The night is still young. That's the spirit. Let's keep partying till. The what do you mean? Don't you mean till the break of dawn? She does, and no, we have too much work to do. We can't stay up all night. <laughs> Aw, but Twilight. Oh, I didn't even get a chance to talk to Luna. Oh, I didn't read that, but it, 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 the party ended. Twilight soon gets every pony's attention, and the music dips down, and the chatter begins to fade. It, she then walks towards you as she begins to give a speech on who you are and, and how you lost your memories. Soon, all the eyes are on you, the mysterious stranger. Uh, you never considered it until this moment, but the townsfolk might be curiously watching you all night. Might have been curious. Oh, okay. It's hard to read their expressions, as every pony looks tired, but you believe that uh, they're already forming, already forming their opinions on you and the actions that you will take in the future. And lastly, thank you for, all for coming tonight and helping us welcome Dragoon to... Oh. Woo! However, it's getting very late and we have a busy morning ahead of us, so, oh, I think it's time for us to finish up and go to bed. Don't forget to grab the goodie bag on your way out! Uh, oh, and a piece of cake, and maybe some ice cream, and one of the special gummy shaped! Yes, thank you, Pinky! Anyway, before we finish, I'd like to invite our guest of honor to step forward and say a few words. Ooh. It's Twilight and everyone's staring at you curiously. Okay, this is it. Time to show them who I am. Ever since I arrived in this town, you've all made me feel oh, nothing but welcome. I've only been here for a day, but already I can look around this room and honestly say that I see the faces of friends. I hope that during my stay, I'll be able to repay each and every one of you for your kindness, as well as get to know you, know you better. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> that was really nice. Well said. Hear, hear. Hear what? I don't hear anything. Right. Okay. See you tomorrow, everypony. Have a good night. One by one, the guests shuffle out of the library. The party is officially over. Let's, let's see. Some still fill the energy with their... Others looking as if they're about to collapse from exhaustion. As if everybody... But as everyone leaves to head home, a thought suddenly enters your mind. Where the hell am I going to sleep? Your thoughts are interrupted as some of the guests say goodnight to you. Including those 
that you talked to earlier. That was some party. You can go for a few more hours. <laughs> Wish I could, but uh, there's work to be done tomorrow. Step on by the farm sometime we'll, when you all get a chance. Don't forget, you owe me a rematch. Anytime, anywhere. Great, just come look for me whenever you want and bring your best. Ooh, we're alone. I'm kidding. Well, we got fight. Phew. Who, who knew throwing a party was such hard work? Like, how does Pinky he do this all the time? It must be all that energy she has. That she has. I'm beat. Not me. I'm wide. Ugh. Oh, wait. Good, because we still have to clean this place up. I'm not clean. Let me help you guys. I can't ask you to do that. I can. Spike! What? He offered? I don't mind. Are you sure? Yeah, thinking of it as a thanks for everything you've done, you've all done for me. Alright then. The three of us working together will be done in no time. Then we can get some sleep. That reminds me, Dragoon. You don't have anywhere to stay, do you? You can stay with us. I was thinking the same thing. How about, Dragoon? You're welcome to stay with Spike and I here at the library for as long as you need. Great! I'd be happy to. Alright! Great, then let's get this place cleaned up first. The three of you each take a spot in the library and work your best. Twilight uses her magic to pull down on the streamers as in balloons from the ceiling while Spike puts the trash away and you bring in extra silverware to uh, over to the sink. Whole time Spike chats with you. He tells you all about Ponyville and how many interesting things there are to do. He also tells you about the amazing adventures that Twilight and others have had, such as the fight with Discord. The whole time Twilight is blessing from the praise. Once cleaning is finished, Spike heads upstairs to get at the beds ready. You walk over to Twilight. Spike really likes to, to talk a lot. It's one of his charms. And he really seems to like you, though, Dragon. And that's always good to see him hanging out, out with other friends. As the only boy in the group, I think he feels left out sometimes. So I guess that makes me his bro now, huh? I wouldn't say that. New ponies these are always interesting. Besides, Ponyville doesn't normally get that many newcomers. Like me. Me. I thought you grew up here. No, I was born in Canterlot. I'm studying magic under Princess Celestia. She sent me here, here to help out with preparations for the Summer Sun Celebration and, and the last time it was held here. I made so many good friends that, and when the time came to leave, I didn't want to go, so the prince let me stay. She sounded... she sounds like a nice pony. She is. I respect her, her more than any pony for her love uh, for her subjects and her desire her to help any pony. Who knows? Maybe she can help you. I hope so. But right now, all I want to do is... all I want is a good night's sleep. You and Twilight head upstairs, and you hear a certain dragon already snoring in the room right across from you. Twilight rolls her eye and then points at the door in the right, assuming it's your room. And you bid Twilight good night and head off to bed. You're exhausted from everything. You head over to the spare room Twilight and Spike made for you. I've got to find my own place soon. I don't want to bother to be a bother to either of them. With a loud yawn, you lay your head down on a soft pillow and fall asleep. You feel as though you're floating in midair. You look around to see where you are, but there is nothing but darkness. What? What's going on? Suddenly, you begin to feel a change in the atmosphere. The air shimmers as, as the world around you starts to transform. Whoa! What is this? Do I know this place? Female voice. Big Brother? Huh? Female voice. Open the door already. Your school books weigh a ton, and I don't know how much longer I can hold on. Hold them. You try to say something, but your mouth starts to move on its own, as if you're not in control of your own body. I'll be there in a minute! You head over to the door, but you feel strange. The way you walk and even the way you feel is talk and feel is, is different. You arrive at the door, uh, but the room starts to fade away. You open the door, but before you, can see, you see who it is on the other side, the world turns white. Ooh. You're waiting for the sound of birds chirping. The rays of, of the sun running through the, uh, your window shows that it's morning. What's that? A dream? 
Hey, it's Spike. Like, are you up yet? Yeah, come on in. Good morning, Dragoon. You slept well? Uh, hmm. Let's say, yeah, yeah, no problems. That's good. Anyway, I want to tell you that twi Twilight's up, and I've got breakfast already cooking. I'll meet you downstairs for some grub. After, after all, we've got a big week ahead of us. Spike soon leaves you alone with only your thoughts. Was that just a dream, or was it from your past? Who are you? Well, I'll think about it later. After all, today is a brand new day. Hmm. And that's it! That was Pony Amnesia Love and Mysteries demo. And there's all the credits, special thanks to our former members. Let's see. And a special thanks to our beta testers. All these people. And several anonymous people. Alright. Let's see if it takes me back to the menu. It should. Yep! Huh. Does it save? Let's see the game. Oh wow. No, it has... Okay. Uh, return. I guess if I ever stop it, I can... Maybe there's like a save. Oh well, that was... Like I said, that was Pony Amnesia. If you liked the video, oh um, well then click the click the like button that's down there. Or right, like like favorite it and subscribe to me for some more pony videos and some other videos. That's for me, and I will see you guys next time.